Genetic counselling involves the assessment of a family history and medical history to determine if that individual and or their family has an increased risk of inherited conditions. Uh, it also involves the discussion of any available genetic testing and the risks and benefits of this, as well as the psychosocial implications of the inherited condition in the family. Our understanding of genetics is growing rapidly and changing every day, which brings about new challenges and questions to address. Genetic counselling aims to help people adjust to a genetic condition or the risk of a condition in a way that means something to them as an individual. More people are able to access genetic testing, which means there are more individuals and families who may need support with coming to terms with the diagnoses or understanding the results of a genetic test. And that may be support in understanding the implications of that result, thinking about management of any risks that come with that result, and also possibly thinking about future reproductive options. Genetic counselling aims to personalise care to include patients' own diverse backgrounds and personal needs. And part of our role as a genetic counsellor is also empowering our patients to share that information with their family members. You never forget the first thank you card or the photo of a baby sent by a patient. And patients don't forget either. I think being able to make such a big impact on people's lives has is always going to stay with me and makes this more exciting because every day is different in our profession. The best bit is when you uh, feel that you've helped people. So for example, women who are going through breast cancer treatment are obviously very much struggling with that. Um, being able to help them determine the best treatment for themselves and also to refer them for any psychosocial support. What I enjoy the most is that feeling of really having helped supported and empowered someone at that time, even if the result wasn't the one that they were hoping to receive. I would say your genetics team is there to support you. If you have questions, if you're worried about anything, if you just need a bit of support, if you just need to talk to somebody, then your genetics team is there. Uh, call them, email them, uh, get in contact with them, however you've discussed, uh, but they are there to help. go for it um, but I would say have a look online and um, there's so many resources out there now in terms of looking at the different ways of getting into the program um, by the scientist training program or by the, the masters in genetic and genomic counselling um, but also have a look at the genomic education program and future learn sites we have a lot of resources to give you more background information about genetics and genetic counselling.